In this video, I'm going to show you the best defense in Madden 23, at least in my personal opinion, and why Big Nickel over G is a force to be reckoned with, including after this latest patch update with some of the blitzes that have changed. And I just wanted to give you kind of an update as again, why I really think that Big Nickel over G is the most versatile defense. It can do everything that you want it to be able to do. And it also has one of the best blitzes in the entire game, if not the best blitz in the entire game. So um, this is our Big Nickel over G loop blitz. If you want to learn and get a, a little bit more of an elaboration on this concept or learn all of the concepts. What I like about Big Nickel is it contains every style of blitzing uh, that you could want in one formation that also has all the match coverages that also has the best alignment that also has the best run defense okay um, so if you want to get my full big nickel over G ebook the link is in the description join the patreon for just 10 bucks it'll get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks but I just wanted to show this and just how powerful this is so um, you could do this out of pretty much any play in the formation the play that I'm going to be showing it out of in this video is uh, going to be cover two uh, and what you're going to do is you're just simply going to uh, pinch your defensive line. You're going to crash your defensive line down. You're going to globally blitz your linebackers and you're going to contain. That's it. That's the setup. And what you're going to see here is this thing will come through the B gap and it will come off of the edge at your opponent. Now, this blitz is really effective, especially for people that like to uh, block their running back. You're going to see here that this is going to come in against a blocked running back. See how he loops around. Um, probably about 80% of the time. Sometimes the running back will, in that example that you just saw, pick it up. But I will say there's a lot of times where this will continue to come even if they just block their running back, okay? Now, where the, it gets interesting is the blitz actually gets better the fewer people that you blitz. So um, we'll give you an example. So I'm going to man up the running back with the defensive tackle on the running back side, and then I'm going to zone this guy on the right. And so you're going to see the blitz looks like this now, and you'll see the running back gets sucked inside, and that loop will come around and kind of be... Um, just again a, a passive rusher but it's really 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 glitchy and really effective now uh you'll see so so i'll drop some more people out for fun so we'll just drop everybody so this is now a two-man blitz this is now a two-man blitz and we're going to stand about right here and you're just going to run down and hold left trigger and you see how we're getting these really quick disengages and these really quick stunts the key is holding left trigger with your user in my opinion and then of course i like i said i think the more people that we actually drop out of this is actually going to make it better now this is just one of the blitz there you see there's the loop blitz coming all around see how it's kind of collapsing the pocket it may not always come completely free but it does a really good, really good job of collapsing the pocket. And if you want to leave somebody blitzing, um, you certainly can. So, you know, let's say we did something like this, you know, and we're going to blitz three off the side that way in case, you know, we get picked up or whatever. We're going to still be able to get a, sh a good shed. You'll see here he loops around. And then, like I said, we're going to be able to still shed the quarterback even if we're not able to get, you know, everybody completely free at the quarterback. OK, uh, but this is one of my favorite blitzes in the entire game, especially when they start to, you know, block their running back or block their tight end. Uh, I just find, again, when my user's on point with this and I come down and I hold left trigger and suck that running back in just like that right there. You see how it sucks the running back in and my guy loops around. That's what left trigger. That's the whole point of holding the, the left trigger is because it can trigger this really glitchy uh, animation on this contain angle. So again, this is a two man blitz. I'm just going to run down, hold left trigger. You see that time, that time got picked up. But again, you're only sending three. Um, and with your user, it's going to count like you're sending four. And so you're still going to get the sheds that you would get if you, even if you didn't do that. Uh, but I just find this to be, you know, one of the best blitzes in the game for a p position where they start to like try to block your blitzes. This is a super, super simple little loop blitz. I think it's one of the better blitzes in the game because it's really not a blitz. It's really more of a stunt or a disengage concept. Um, you know, we can make it a blitz by just sending the five man version. And you see here how consistent the five man is going to be. They have to at least at the very least they have to block the running back to pick this up and i will tell you just from personal experience that blocking the running back does not always pick this up especially in game especially with the better the faster guys you're going to have in this position if you really can get good at holding that left trigger whenever you run down with your user and kind of sucking the the the, the guys inside uh you're going to have a lot of success with this defense but this is you know one just one of the blitzes we have some really a lot more powerful blitzes and really a lot more uh 
consistent pressures that we can show you in our inside of our big nickel over G um, defensive ebook. But I think this right now is one of the better blitzes in the game. The cool part that I didn't even get into is you can do it on both sides. So you see here, I can do it off of the right as well. And they're actually, in my opinion, by trying to patch the loop, I think to a degree they're making these loop blitzes in certain formations, not in every formation, but in certain for inside of certain formations, they are actually making you know these loop blitzes a lot better if you know how to kind of work the line mechanic and uh, be able to attack it. So, anyways, guys, that's the loop blitz, and uh, I really like it. You can only do this out of big nickel over G. It's only four down lineman set. You can do this out of, you can do this out of some three down lineman sets. They're not anywhere near as consistent. And as you can see, the loop is just really powerful. I think it's here to stay. Thanks for watching. If you want to get our full big nickel over G ebook, link is in the description below. It's only ten dollars to sign up. It gets you access to everything over at the Patreon. All the updates, which we're going to be updating a ton of stuff with this new patch, uh, different blitzes different bombs different everything but we already have nine offensive and defensive ebooks and i think that our big nickel one just got a crap ton better with the latest patch